Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for another installment of Slab and Gab here on the channel. These are quick episodes where we take a look at a graded card or two from my collection and chat about them a little bit. And in today's installment, it's going to be kind of a cool story of how I recently purchased a Hall of Fame vintage uh, graded card recently in the baseball realm from a friend of mine uh, completely by accident. Uh, I didn't purchase the card by accident, but I didn't realize that I was purchasing, uh, purchasing it from a longtime hobby friend until it arrived in the mail, believe it or not. So um, the card that we're going to look at today is not this Ralph Branca because he's not a Hall of Famer. And I did say that in the lead in, but it is a 52 Bowman baseball card. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off this Ralph Branca that I've had in my collection for a long time now. Um, you can tell how old this graded card is because it doesn't even have a hologram or lighthouse on the PSA flip. Um, I'm certain that I've had this for probably a dozen years or more, um, but just a total sucker for the early 50s Bowman sets, especially 50 through 52. Um, and of course, anything Brooklyn Dodgers uh, from the 1950s is just right up my alley. Um, so pretty happy to have this Ralph Branca. Got it for a song many years back. Nice clean back as well. And, you know, eventually in my collecting lifetime, one of the many, many goals that I have, probably too many uh, in the hobby, is to complete a 1952 Bowman baseball set. And so towards that end, I've been looking around recently at one card in particular that I really wanted to add, and that is Ralph Kiner. And I kind of got turned on him. I was aware of him as a Hall of Fame player by name and sort of had a little bit of an awareness of, you know, the fact that he was a power hitter for the Pirates, but didn't really know how good a player he was until I recently learned more about him through Dylan over at Double D Vintage Baseball Cards, who's a buddy of mine in the hobby and showed off a great uh, rookie of Ralph Kiner. And the uh, most amazing statistic about him that everybody references, he, he led the league in home runs for seven years in a row. And I think it's pretty wild to consider uh, what collectors would be doing if a prospect came up these days and proceeded to lead the league in home runs for seven consecutive seasons. Um, I think the hobby would be going bananas. Uh, but given that this happened, you know, many, many decades ago, not everybody knows that um, who's a, a modern fan of baseball. And so I think Ralph Kiner cards are kind of compelling and uh, was able to find this example that I brought home, uh, made an offer. It was a reasonably priced card that I thought uh, to begin with, and uh, the offer that I made was accepted graciously. Um, didn't recognize at that point who I was dealing with, uh, but when the card showed up in the mail, I recognized uh, the bubble mailer, or the address on the bubble mailer that it came from as being that of my buddy Chris, uh, who I know from the sports card blog community, uh, writes a blog called The Collector, which I'll leave a link to below. Uh, and so at first I didn't put together that it was the Kiner card. I was like, oh, Chris must have sent me something cool. Like, you know, he sent me packages over, over the years and uh, just random back and forth swapping of cardboard. And so I opened it up thinking it was a care package and I found this Ralph Kiner um, that I had picked up on eBay. So sure enough, went back and looked at the username that I had bought the card from and uh, realized I should have recognized it uh, based on the username. But in my haste, I didn't. And so I inadvertently bought a vintage Hall of Famer from a longtime hobby friend. And uh, to close it all off, Chris recognized it as well, uh, based on my name and address, and included this great note, which I'll definitely hang on to. Hi, Shane. Thank you for your purchase. I'm happy to see this Kiner card go to a true collector. Uh, perhaps it will be featured on a future episode of Slab and Gab. So ask and you shall receive, Chris. Uh, best of luck with your YouTube channel. Take care and go Sox, Chris the Collector. So that is... Uh, just awesome. Um, I guess you know you've been in the hobby a long time when you're um, just inadvertently running into hobby contacts out there in the wild, uh, picking up cards and uh, maybe not even aware of it. So I was really, really happy to uh, support your hobby, Chris, uh, with the sale of that Kiner card. Hope you're able to use those funds uh, towards something for your collection that is maybe a better fit. And uh, as you alluded to in your note, it's certainly part of a collection now where it will be cherished as part of my uh always growing, slow pursuit of uh, the 1952 Bowman baseball set. So uh, we'll take one more look at this one. Here's the back, nice clean back as well. Um, you can definitely see why I was attracted uh, to this example. Pretty good centering, kind of has everything that I look for in a 50s baseball card and available at a, a very reasonable price point thanks to the grade of PSA 5 
and uh, Chris being a, uh, a really solid seller. So that's my story for today of buying a 52 Bowman Ralph Kiner from a hobby friend by accident. Certainly appreciate you stopping by to check out another installment of Slab and Gab here on the channel. And I'll be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and enjoy the hobby.